Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm Brother Bill, and this is Evening Prayer for uh, Tuesday, June the 14th, 2011. Today we remember Basil the Great, who was Bishop of Caesarea uh, and died in 379. The scripture for this service, Psalm 78, verse 30 to 55. Luke chapter 20, verse 19 to 26. And Mary, uh, Mary, the song of Mary, Luke 1, verse 46 to 55. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit. As in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Set your hope in God. Never forget God's deeds. Alleluia. Psalm 78. But before they had sated their craving, while the food was still in their mouth, God's anger rose against them, and he slew the strongest among them, and struck down the flower of Israel. And despite this, they went on sinning, and they had no faith in such wonders. So God ended their days like a breath, and their years in sudden ruin. And when God slew them, they would seek God in earnest and return. They remembered that God was their rock, God the Most High, their Redeemer. But the words they spoke were mere flattery. They lied to God with their lips. For their hearts were not sincere. They were not faithful to the covenant. Yet the one who is full of compassion forgave their sin and spared them. So often God held back the anger that might have been stirred up in rage. God remembered they were only human, a breath that passes never to return. How often they defied God in the wilderness and caused God pain in the desert. And yet again they put God to the test. They grieved the Holy One of Israel. They did not remember God's deeds, nor the day they were saved from the foe. And when God worked such miracles in Egypt, such wonders in the plains of Zoan, God struck all the firstborn in Egypt, the finest flower in the dwellings of Ham. God brought forth the people like sheep and guided them like a flock in the desert, led them safely with nothing to fear while the sea engulfed their foes. And so God brought them to that holy land, to the mountain that was won by his hand. He drove out the nations before them and divided the land for their heritage. Their tents God gave as a dwelling, to each one of Israel's tribes. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Set your hope in God. Never forget God's deeds. Alleluia. The lesson is from the Holy Gospel according to Luke, chapter 20, beginning at verse 19. When the scribes and chief priests realized that Jesus had told this parable against them, they wanted to lay hands on him at that very hour, but they feared the people. So they watched Jesus and sent spies to pretend to be honest in order to trap him by what he said, so as to hand him over to the jurisdiction and authority of the governor. And so they asked him, Teacher, we know that you are right in what you say and teach. And you show deference to no one, but teach the ways of God in accordance with the truth. <clears throat> Is it lawful for us to pay taxes to the emperor or not? But he perceived their craftiness and said to them, Show me a coin. Whose head and title does it bear? And they said, Caesar's. And Jesus said to them, Then give to Caesar the things that are Caesar's, and give to God the things that are God's. And they were not able in the presence of the people to trap him by what he said. And being amazed by his answer, they became silent. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness and let your people sing with joy. Give peace in Jerusalem and in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Keep this nation in your care. Guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon the earth and your saving help among all nations. 
Let not the needy be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. Sustain us by your Holy Spirit. And for all of your intentions. Our beloved in heaven, holy your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. <clears throat> Alleluia. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. Alleluia. The Song of Mary. My soul proclaims your greatness, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for you have looked with favor on your lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. You have done great things for me. Holy is your name. You have mercy on those who fear you in every generation. You have shown the strength of your arm and have scattered the proud in their conceit. You've cast down the mighty from their thrones, and you've lifted the lowly. You have filled the hungry with good things, and the rich you have sent away empty. You have come to the help of your servant Israel, for you have remembered your promise of mercy, <clears throat> the promise you made to our ancestors, to Abraham and Sarah, and their children forever. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. My soul proclaims your greatness. Alleluia. Bless Yahweh, my soul, and may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia. <clears throat> 